Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. Let's start with today's Bitcoin technical analysis because Bitcoin is again pumping. We are forming currently a potential ascending triangle which is a very bullish pattern and if we're really going to break out here to the upside and have this confirmation that we are back in track in this potential rising wedge we could be also in here for a breakout from 9700 and a possible retest here of 10230 so let's see if we can break out from this potential bullish pattern and also watching at the stock market currently the S&P is also pumping and testing again the resistance here at around $3,100 so also here it looks like that we are consolidating after here this bullish move and we're waiting here for the continuation here so the breakout to the upside to potentially retest here the top that we had at $3,230 so also here in the stock market it looks like that the S&P is pushing again to the upside and this is of course also bullish for Bitcoin. So here in the one hour you can see that we are trading right at the 15 the RSI above the 20 moving average the 200 is giving us some resistance currently stochastic is in neutral condition and if we go over to the Bollinger Band you can see that also here we are trading in the upper area and above the middle line so far we have the confirmation that now 9480 is support so in theory we should bounce from it pretty soon and retest $9,500 the MACD is still shifted to the downside but here if we see a bounce to the upside we're also going to have here a bullish cross which could indicate that the retest of 9500 is inevitable and possible also break it to the upside. If we go over to the 4 hour here it looks like that we are squeezing between the support of the 20 moving average and the resistance of the 50. So here also we are squeezing here between these two moving averages and we are going to see a breakout here to the upside towards the resistance here of 9600 to test it possibly or we're gonna lose here the support and possibly have the breakout to the downside here and lose the $9,400 support. The RSI is right at the 50 like in the one hour, so also here we're in our critical point and the stochastic currently is still overbought so here it is possible that we come down to retest the support school of the stochastic before we're gonna see here another move to the upside and on the Bollinger Band here in the 4 hour it looks like that we potentially are coming down to test the middle area of $9,400 again because currently we are losing here this $9,500 fight if we are able to recover back up we could in theory go up to $9,650 and also test this resistance let's see if we're gonna have here also in the MACD a continuation of the momentum to the upside or in case of a breakdown towards $9,400 if we're gonna have here a bearish cross we could be in here also for a bigger retest of the bottom here of the Bollinger Band towards 9130 but since the S&P is also still pumping I think we are bouncing here from this $9,400 and we should see here a retest of $9,600 pretty soon possibly even today and if we go over to the daily time frame here it looks a bit more bullish now because uh, yesterday we had a close above $9,500 so in theory right now we are trading above the 20 daily moving average but we need also the confirmation so today we're gonna need the confirmation that we are staying above the 20 daily moving average otherwise this was a fake out and we are potentially again shifted towards to the downside and also probably test here the 50 daily moving average at 9360 so it will be very important that today we're gonna close above $9,500 in order to be shifted again to the upside and retest the resistance up here. Otherwise, this was just a fake out and we possibly gonna see a breakout again of this main support of $9,400. RSI here also like in the one hour and four hour is moving right at the 50 level so also here we are in a very critical point because if we are starting to trade below the 50 in the RSI we are again shifted to the downside and we will see some further drops even though the last time we dropped here we had immediately the bulls coming back in and bought everything back up so in theory when we see moves like that we're gonna see a big move to the opposite direction so in theory here we should have a big breakout from this 
resistance here at around $9,700. So I'm still waiting here for a potential big move to the upside because after this move here, after this big week in the daily, this usually signals that we're going to see a big move to the opposite direction. Similar like we had over here when we had this big week to the downside and then immediately we started to pump it towards the resistance. So I'm expecting to see something similar in the next couple of hours and days. Stochastic is oversold and currently again shifted to the upside. So also here it looks like that we could be in for a breakout of this $9,700. And if we go over to the daily time frame, here the Bollinger Band, it still looks a bit bearish in my opinion because we are still not able to trade above the Bollinger Band here. So above the middle line, in theory, we have still to break here this 9,600 in order to be really bullish and see a potential test here of $10,000 again. MACD is also shifted to the downside. So here in the daily time frame, I still have a bit mixed feelings. There are some bullish signs, but also some bearish. So here I'm still waiting to break the $9,600 and also start to trade above here in the upper area in the Bollinger Band. So let's go back to the Bitstamp chart and open up the weekly time frame because here it looks like that we are perfectly bouncing from the 50 moving average in the week after this little drop that we had which is also coinciding with the first fib line here based on the move that we had from 3800 up to ten thousand dollar so as long as we're staying above the 15 20 weekly moving average everything is still okay also the rsi here is still above the 50 stochastic is still in overbought condition but as i told you in many videos already we can stay in overbought condition here in the stochastic for a very long time and if we open up the Bollinger Band in the weekly here, also you can see that we are still trading in the upper area. So everything is still okay. And in theory, we could go up to $11,200 based here on the Bollinger Band. So in the weekly, it is still looking very bullish. MACD is also shifted to the upside. So let's see what this week will bring and what we're going to see in the next couple of hours. I'm now focusing a bit here on this potential ascending triangle that we are forming here in the one hour and four hour time frame. If we're going to see a breakout here to the upside and also take out here this red line here this $9,700 resistance I think we could be in here for a retest of $10,000 and guys because some of you asked me to publish my charts I will now always publish my chart that you see here on trading view so after the video I will always put this chart that you can see right now public into trading view so you can follow me over on trading view as well and also if you're a member already of the discord trading chat where everyone is welcome and is completely for free i will also put it there the link so you can every time after the video check out the chart yourself so make sure to join also the discord trading chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content you know what to do make also sure to subscribe to the channel because i do daily ta videos and also you can participate to the bitcoin giveaway that i do with every 500 subscribers and if you want you can also join me over on twitch here i'm doing the live streams so make sure also to join the twitch channel you find all the links down below here and if you also need a trading account over on bybit femex prime xpt or bityard you find all the sign up links down below here in the video description because with my links you can get some bonuses and some rewards currently we still have the special $100 extra bonus running on Bybit so if you put there a deposit of at least 0.2 Bitcoin on this exchange within three days they will give you an extra $100 to the normal $90 that you anyway get when you use my sign up link down below here in the video description thank you very much for watching guys thank you for your support shout out to all the members of the discord trading chat you're the best thank you very much for your support and we see us all in the next one bye